Furiosa is coming out on the 24th of May and in order to maximize the deepest understanding as well as enjoyment from this movie, you're gonna have to know about a couple of things which is going to take more than 10 hours to find out if you do the research on your own. And that's why I have made this short video to save your precious time. If you at least have an average level of attention span, you are more than welcome to enjoy this video. The first movie showed adult Furiosa in a deserted future Australia running away with a warwick to the direction of the green place along with the five wives of Immortan Joe. This is where she was born until she got abducted by Dr. Dementus who is a biker warlord. Furiosa belongs to the Vubalini tribe which is an all-female survivor clan. She belongs to the Swaddle Dog clan. Her mother, Mary Jabasa, was also abducted along with Furiosa when she was a child. Her mother died three days after the captivity. After she was kidnapped, she got stuck in a fight between Immortan Joe and the biker warlord Dr. Dementus. She worked as an imperator, which means a high-ranking officer of Immortan Joe for almost 20 years until she ran away from Citadel in pursuit of the Green Place in the 2015 Mad Max movie. Let's talk about the most powerful clans that have been depicted in this franchise other than the Bubalini tribe and the biker gang of Dr. Dementus. This is Colonel Moore aka the Immortan Joe. He rules over Citadel. He is the most powerful man in this post-apocalyptic wasteland. They call him the People Eater. He is the ruler of the gas town. Now the question is, does he really eat humans as a food? The answer is no. He is just another sadistic fuckface who likes to torture people physically for his pleasure. The gas town is responsible for the extraction and preservation of guzzoline from the ground. This jelly belly, by the way, is a professional businessman and very good with mathematics. He is also the personal accountant of Immortan Joe. This is Major Kalashnikov. This skinny old man is the ruler of the bullet farm. He is responsible for the manufacturing and storage of all kinds of weapons and ammos. Immortan Joe and the other powerful rulers together have created a superstition they call Valhalla. This grumpy old man has made a cult named as V8 which is an automobile worshipping religion. One kind of paganism you can say. This twisted motherfucker has made the war boys believe that if they die in the battle defending him, they are going to be rewarded in the afterlife in Valhalla. Now that explains a lot about the modern terrorist organizations based on religious fundamentalism. These are war boys. They cover themselves with a white powder which works as a medicine for their diseases and also as an honorable tribute to the greatness of Immortan Joe. Most of these boys are called Half-Life because of being inflicted with cancer. The radiation from the nuclear war was the main reason behind their cancerous condition. They sometimes require blood transfusion from the body of the healthy people. The donors are referred as as the blood bag. And this is Max, the Mad Max. Although Furiosa is going to be a prequel of the events shown in the 2015 Mad Max movie, I would still love to tell you that he was a cop who failed to safeguard his own people during the war in this place. He always used to have a flashback of a little girl whom he was supposed to keep safe but ironically, all the people he cared about died in the war. The good news is that Max is going to have a cameo in this movie. Take a look at the family members of him more than Joe. Richtus and Corpus are the sons of Joe. In the 2015 Mad Max movie, Movie, he was shown to have five wives, Toast, Capable, Shido, Angherad, and the Dag. He believes that his sons are incapable of governing the Citadel Empire, so he is breeding a healthy descendant who can be capable of taking control of his empire. Angherad was the favorite wife of Immortan Joe. Unfortunately, she went under the wheels when she was running away with Furiosa to the green place and she died after a couple of hours. She was pregnant with a boy and the boy died as well. These are crowfishers. They also belong to the Vubalini tribe. In order to safeguard the continuity of matriarchy, the Vubalini tribe members used to abandon their male children to the swamps outside the green place. When the male children used to hit puberty, the Vubalini members would visit to collect sperm to maintain the flow of reproduction. They used to survive by fishing crows in the swamp areas and move around by stilt walking. The green place used to have a healthy vegetation suitable for the humans to live comfortably. But due to the desert setting and the nuclear war in Australia, this land became toxic for the trees to survive and it slowly turned into a muddy and infertile swamp area in the future. In the end, I would love to say that you're gonna be watching a vicious battle between Dr. Dementus and Immortan Joe. You'll be watching how Furiosa fought against a lot of clans to get back to the green place and then failed to reach over there. The movie 
movie will also portray exactly how Furiosa lost her hand and exactly why she cut her hair. That's all you needed to know to avoid missing anything in the upcoming Furiosa. If you have made it until the end of the video, I have to say that you have a very good level of attention span. Thank you for watching and see you next time. I want them back.